906 Swan Street. Um, it's a nice high lot. I do not see you having any rain flooding issues here. Your driveway is adequate, but you could use some help. It's wearing out asphalt. The decks have been pressure washed and redone where necessary. The siding is T111. It looks like they put new T111 on recently and it's stained. See where the decks were pressure washed recently and look pretty good. You have some eaves issues right there. Looks like they didn't replace that T111. Your windows look like they're in the last 10 years-ish. You have this big underneath area. I can't figure out why they did this. But yeah, big underneath area. Looks like they were trying to do a tiki bar, but it looks like they have to do some decking or more loving down here to make it an area you're wanting to hang out in. Here's the laundry room, which is barely finished off. There we go. Pex pipe down here. Guessing it's copper upstairs, but like, yeah, they barely finished this off. That's a bathroom above there. So the drain field comes down here and goes out that way. I would guess that the drain field is right in this area here. Looks like you have plenty of room to put a pool in. They did have rabbits, or I'm oh, sorry, chickens at gardening. And here's your little storage uh, bin, the yard shed. Here, but the roof looks like it's been replaced in the last 10 years. Heat pump looks to be in the last 10 years. Not too bad. <laughs> they have <coughs> rainwater for irrigation. Here's your outdoor shower. Fairly new looking. Uh, they did have an irrigation well. Uh, the pump's gone bad. You can probably still get a new pump and use that, which uh, saves on growing things, but you end up to have rust water a lot. On-demand hot water heater. That's a nice option. Nice thing. Always have hot water. All right. Ooh. That. Oh, the vent looks fine. They've got, uh, it's rusting. It's uh, rotting out there, but uh, they have screen behind it that looks like it's decent. It's your fencing, and the fencing looks like it's not great. It's leading really badly right here. It needs to be fixed, but it's in decent condition. All right, let's go inside. This is your great room. You can see it's kind of tiny. Your kitchen. Kitchen is not bad sized. Uh, concrete countertops, trendy at one time, already seem a little dated. You have no hood there, which is kind of strange. Uh, you have a nice sink. Um, this is actually paneling, which they texture painted so you can't see the grooves. Because here, paneling, you can see the grooves. Paneling, you can see the grooves. Something ground against the wall there. Uh, hallway, here's bedroom. They just left the paneling. They did do knockdown, new knockdown all in here. Um, Something is settling because this door won't shut. There's those closets. The other bedroom, they did drywall this one. You can see where a dog tried to claw the wall. I have no idea, but that looks like dog claw marks. Uh, this closet, they didn't finish off very well. See what I mean? Yeah, needs more work. All right, the bathroom is Adequately done, but could still use a little more love. There we go, tile. All right, let's go on out to your side deck. This deck needs some work. That's a definite replace board right there. I don't know why this bamboo pole is here. It looks like it's to hide the cable wire. It is strange. Yeah. Windows look pretty good. Yeah, this deck definitely needs to be replaced. And they didn't replace, it doesn't look like they replaced this T111 over here. Um, 
There we go. There's an overview of the backyard, nice and big. Uh, as we said earlier, the drain field's right there. I think you do have room for a pool. All right, here's some bad news. I thought because this house was built in the 50s, it would be copper, but it's polybutylene inside. Uh, it'd probably be easy to fix as small as this house is, but still, it's just another issue. All right, I've poked almost all the pilings, and they are good. That's a nice, nice thing. Yeah, they are, the pilings are good. Even some of these ones on the stairs, so I don't see any piling issues. 906 Swan Street. Uh, my take on the house, uh, you're going to, you could, probably if you, the house is for sale for 309, uh, you could probably do 30 to 35, but you're going to have to spring for a hot tub. So let's call it, and you need furniture, so let's call it 325, so that's still doable. We can still probably cover your mortgage. Uh, if you put a pool in, you could probably do much better. Uh, it would probably pay for itself, but you still need to do a lot of upgrading inside. Now, as far as being a good house, the great room is too small, and you need more than the two bedrooms and one bath. So you have to figure out how to add the extra bedroom or two and adding another bathroom and the drain field big enough for the two extra bedrooms you're going to have to redo the driveway so i think you could go five plus in putting stuff into this house to make it what you wanted so five hundred thousand plus probably 550 but with all that done you could probably rent this house for sixty seventy thousand dollars a year and definitely cover it but you're going to have to have the vision